So, uh, how, how, do, how, how, how do we like the Flyers this year? Okay, I guess. Look, Shane, about before, uh, about me and your mom, I'm, I'm sure you have a lot of quest questions, don't you? Not really. Can I go now? No, actually, you can't. We, we really, we need to talk about this. You see, when a guy loves a woman, or another guy, you know, whatever, whoever, it makes no difference to me. Anyway. It's called they... sex. I get it. Can't we talk about drugs instead? Expl so you already know about sex, huh? I'm not a little kid. What is it exactly you know? Seriously, a lot gets said about sex. Some of it's true, but a lot of it's not even close. Do we have to talk about this? I didn't want to talk about it either when I was your age. Did Grandma Roxy talk to you about it? No! Let's not even imagine that scenario. No, I was living with my, my aunt back then. She pretty much wanted to pretend sex didn't even exist. At least just kind of hoped I'd figure it out, which turned out to be a huge mistake. Why? Because you got my mom pregnant with me? How do you know that? You were not a mistake. Shane, you and your mom are the best things that have ever happened to me. So you meant for my mom to get pregnant with me? No, that, that was not the plan. So I'm an accident. You were something I didn't know how much I wanted until you came into my life. The mistake was thinking that sex was no big deal. Nobody ever taught me that it was supposed to mean something that's supposed to be when you really love somebody. So you didn't love mom back then? I didn't even know what love was. I was young, too stupid. Then I mentioned selfish. I just cared about myself. Didn't care about hurting anybody else, even if I really cared about them. And I didn't do anything to keep her from getting pregnant. That was her problem. That was on her. She was on her own with a kid, our kid, who had to grow up without his dad. I really screwed up. So what is it that you're trying to tell me? Don't be like your old man. I can't believe I wasn't exactly role model material when I met your mom. I don't even know why she was into me. I sucked it treating people right and that is the most important thing if you are not 100% sure that you can treat the person you're with with the respect that she deserves you don't have any business messing around with her and you both need to know that, that you both have to be there in case things don't go right like having a kid like having a kid you can't do right by that's not the only thing you don't want a disease either. Did you get a disease? No. No, I got lucky, but a lot of people don't. I really don't think this is the problem. I don't even have a girlfriend anymore. Anymore? You had a girlfriend? We broke up. She was too immature. Uh, uh, but you weren't. Um... I'm 10. But she wanted to start kissing with tongues. And I was like, no way. Good, good. <clears throat> it's good that you didn't let this girl pressure you into something you weren't, you weren't ready for. That's cool. But if the time comes where, where you're ready to, to start kissing with tongues or whatever, just, just know you come talk to me. OK, ask any questions. Are we done now? As long as you promise you'll listen to what I just said. Only if you promise you won't do it in the living room again. Deal. What are you Dan Savage and Dr. Ruth put together. Who's Dr. Ruth? I'm glad you guys stopped by. How's everything? We're good. Yeah, just help myself there, Gigi. Thanks. Really. Good top notch service right here. Come on it. Um, I'll get you a soda. Okay. All right. So, 
What have you guys been up to, huh? Just hanging out. Oh. Yeah. We're hanging out with uh, John and my dad down at the piers in Atlantic City, trying to fish. We never catch one single fish, but we get a lot of advice. Rex was giving me advice, too. Oh, scary. Really? About what? Sex. Okay. I, I told Shane that he could ask me anything he wanted to know, but there were a few questions that were kind of out of my league, so we came here. I figured he could maybe talk to his mom. Michael's a doctor. He could tell me. Yeah, sure. What do you want to know? What's a clitoris? 